Sometimes Bible believers say things that makes perfect sense. And then there are times when Bible believers say things that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And this first part of his statement makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So this person is saying that you are wrong. We are 100 percent wrong. You have to keep the commandments in the Bible in order to understand the Bible. If that is not a case of putting the horse, the cart before the horse, I don't know what it is. Because in this instance, what you are suggesting is that in order for me to understand what this God wants, I have to first follow his commandments. And then upon following his commandments, what this God wants me to do, which is to follow his commandments, will then be revealed to me so that I can understand what his commandments are. Or any other teaching of this book, what you're saying is, I have to believe in this book before I understand this book so that then once my belief has been established in this book and I follow these commandments, I will then understand this book. Make it make sense. It's not computing. It's the math is just not mathing. All the little statements like that. Because basically what you're asking me to do here is to just believe something without it proving itself worthy of my belief. You want me to believe in this book, although science demonstrates that the overwhelming, overwhelming majority of things that it claims to be factual history are not factual history. You want me to believe in this book that the things that it says are biological, uh, bi biological possibilities are simply not biological possibilities. And that I should just accept them instead, and I should just accept them instead of the facts that are presented to me. And then when I read it, it will give me an understanding that supersedes the factual things that I do know or can find. In what world would you do that? In what instance would you do that? Would you have been the first person to say that, you know what? We have no idea if this thing will fly in the air and we have no idea how it will land. But trust me that it will fly and trust me that it will land safely. And I'm supposed to just jump on this thing and trust that it will happen exactly as you said. But yet when the Wright brothers attempted man-powered flight, they crashed a whole bunch of times before they figured out how to do it. So you want me to go and crash a bunch of times without any proof. And the fact of the matter is that the teachings of the Israelites has been around since around 12, 1300 BCE and then morphed into Christianity in around the first century and then hasn't proven itself to be valid 2,000 years later. So we have over 3,000 years of teachings that has proved itself to be more false than to be true. And you want me to just believe it first and then I'll get an understanding of it. That is the epitome of cognitive dissonance, of bias. <laughs> it is pretty much the same that every apologist and pastor have to do when they go to theolo the, um, theology school, seminary. So not theology school, but seminary. To say that no matter what they learn, that they will still believe in the inerrancy of the Bible. Although they will learn how errant the Bible is. And yet many of them do this. They will still accept that it is inerrant when it shows its errancy. This is what parishioners do. That no matter how much information is provided to them to demonstrate that this book is not valid, you will still and continue to believe in this book. That is insane. If there was another definition for insanity beyond doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result, this would be the second definition of it. 
to believe in something without facts, without proof. And when facts and proof are given to you, ignore them because once you are committed to following this practice, it will all be revealed to you as to why you were correct, why you should continue to do this. This is based out of fear, fear of hell. That is why you would make such a statement that it will be added to you later. I can't do that. There is not one critical atom in my body that would allow me to do such things. But if it works for you, you keep doing you. And always remember, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.